Game Boy Advance SP. Advance SP. The new Game Boy Advance SP. So you can even play in the dark. I'm getting nostalgic vibes right now. <laughs> There's a rechargeable built-in battery. The one plug battery. Plays your favorite the multiple games. Titles. And their backwards compatibility. Yeah, I'm loving this voice. They were really like hyping this up. Nice, yep. Yes, oh, I love these. Oh my God, this is perfect. This is perfect. She's a laptop, she could be a touch screen, mm -hmm. she could be a hello, Britney Spears. My cousin had one of these, but I would like steal it from him. <laughs> so this is the one and only Game Boy Advance SP. Ooh. It first came out 18 years ago in 2003. I was actually alive. <laughs> I was actually alive. Wow. The Game Boy Advance SP was a sixth generation handheld gaming console from Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the SP stands for? Mm. <laughs> I was going to say solar power. <laughs> super phone. Small portable. <laughs> it's. I know it's like super something, right? I was going to say special, but um, is it special? It's special. Oh my gosh. I'm buying a lottery ticket. <laughs> it actually stands for special. Special. Okay. <laughs> they were trying. They, they did their best. It was an upgraded or special version of the 2001 Game Boy Advance. Have you ever seen this one? No? No, but it does look like look like a leapfrog. That okay. one. Exactly that one. The clear one? Ooh. Yes, that's the one that I had. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. The fact that it had a backlight was a really big deal when it came out because you could play it in the dark. It flipped out kind of like a flip phone. So exactly. That, Can we know? just see the flip? Wow. Mm. And it also featured a rechargeable battery, which mm -hmm. was a big deal. Yep, I see her. A rechargeable battery. I'm confused. Like, doesn't everything have a rechargeable battery? Like, you know how ghetto that is to buy batteries and to keep putting it in? Like, why am I mm -hmm. spending more money on a system that you guys should have, like, fixed it for me? Like, it's supposed to be special. So when it first came out, it sold for $99.99, .99, and it came in a variety of colors. Do they have pink? It did. <gasps> okay, those are a lot of colors. I just remember like the silver and this kind of like bluish. Why don't you go ahead and power this up? Let's see, is it touch screen? This button? Oh, start. Am I supposed to hold it down? I feel really dumb right now. <laughs> don't tell me that I'm not doing it. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is really bringing me back. She said, ding. All right, game boy. So what's happening? It's taking a long time. Is it not on? Is it because there's no game in it? There you go, ding, ding, ding. There you go, it doesn't do anything. There's no like main menu or anything. This just so happens to be my personal game boy from when really? I was a kid. Mm -hmm. this, is, this exact one? That exact one. And I do have a few games for you to try out. You're gonna have me play Super Mario World? No way. It's Super Mario World. <gasps> Try turning it off and turning it back on. Oh. oh Make sure I heard that beep now. <laughs> wow, this is pretty good. It held up its shape. And this, just a lot of the old Mario games are so have so much attention to detail that a lot of people kind of give up on. Mm -hmm. And I like it. I like that a lot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, I just wanna. F okay, that's jump. <gasps> I, oh, oh, I already lost my dinosaur, dude. This is so fun. But um, I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, gotta get this one. Yeah! Woo! Ah, oh, this feels amazing. I used to have a, a Nintendo DS, and I'm so used to that little, like, joystick. So it's, like, so weird having to go back to, back to the basics, you know, two buttons and... <laughs> Four sides. <laughs> what differences do you notice between like modern Mario and this? I mean, as you can see, it says press the A button to jump. Uh, it's it's very different, especially with the um, the controls, because you normally have a Y button and uh, an X button. Now you just only have two. Mm -hmm. And especially if you want to break like these bottom blocks, you gotta do your little spin jump. For when it came out, it's still pretty like advanced, I would say. Like there's a lot happening on this tiny little screen. What do you think of the graphics? It's cute. I actually really like it. Cause this is a. Wait, where did I go? Oh my god. Oh, it's so different. 
but at the same time, you can tell that like Nintendo really likes to keep their nostalgia factor. So like they really don't switch up that much. I mean, it's not perfect, but like I want. <gasps> no, I don't want you. Oh yeah, I do. I thought that was bad. I thought he was naughty. Mamma mia! I want to do that thing where you like go on top and then you like flip over. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't think you can do it on here. Where you can like go on top and. <laughs> oh shoot. Yes, there we go. Woo! And you got the little the little football guy. I think they're called Chucks. Yeah. That's world one. Dude. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I haven't played Mario in so long. Oh, you were about this live, honey. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, look at you! You have the whole setup, my guy. No, I don't even gotta look at anything else. It's the Scooby-Doo game. <laughs> I feel like I had this game too. <gasps> the movie? No way, is it gonna start playing the movie? Do I just watch the movie on this? I'm I'm confused, so do you just hop into Scooby-Doo too? Okay, I was about to say, if it started playing a movie, I would have been very impressed. Wow, look at him go. Make Scooby jump with the A button. This is interesting. I can see why it's uh, a favorite. How is playing games on this compared to how you play games now? It's different. I feel like the graphics make it intense so that like it kind of draws people in. Literally, you could fold this and like put it in your bag and it won't take up any space. Yeah, you can't really put a PS5 in your pocket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And even if you do, like, okay, what TV are you going to set it up to? You know, the Nintendo DS came out shortly after this one. Yes. This came out in 2003, the DS came out in 2004, mm. and then the PSP came out in 2005. Mm. And then eventually fast forward to the Nintendo Switch, which came out in 2017. You said yeah. you have one of those. That's arguably one of the most popular handheld gaming devices of all time. You talk about this earlier, but what's it like to look at how handheld gaming has evolved it's over the so, years? It's just so crazy, because we went from uh, only a green screen Game Boy, and then you look at the Switch, and then it's just, the colors just look beautiful, and the games look so nice, and you can just tell that they're putting so much to it. It's so cool how we went from this to then a DS, and then now we're at a thing where literally you download the games onto the thing, and you never have to bring it cartridge or anything. And then now that's like kids just get an iPad. Yeah, oh, listen, out the womb, out the womb coming out with iPads. Like, mm -hmm. how do you, how you know how do you work this better than I do? Having a system just for your games, like outside of like, I feel like that's healthy. You know, you have that like work and life balance, you know, you need to have that like the game and life balance, you know, like you need to keep it separate. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. Don't play games, subscribe to our channel. Let us know what other gaming devices we should react to in the comments. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Game Boy Advance Special. Spe. Spe. Spe.